Hello and welcome. So today we'll be continuing our tutorials on Revit like an architect and we'll be focusing on the next phase in the design process and that is the design development phase. We've covered the pre-design and schematic design phase. If you didn't follow us on this on the tutorials, you can see the videos somewhere up here and catch up with us. Now in the design development stage, you take your schematic design sketches, develop them more so that you can interpret them um, in good scalable architectural points and this is what you are going to use to present to the client and the client will now make an informed decision to carry on with the project so the advantages of using BIM in this stage is that you are able to not just sketch your, your buildings in different multi-view drawings where you are able to model it and see how the building comes together so at this point you are thinking in such an integrated manner that you look at how the materials will function, how the building will appear and look, and how the construction process will be executed. So modeling uh, in Revit with the thought process of how the building will come together is one of the main aims of our tutorials. So what we are trying to do, um, instead of getting people to just model because they want to produce a stunning render and be classified as the greatest architect, we want to model in such a way as if we are actually constructing the building on site and try as much as we can to follow the construction process during the modeling process. So I hope I'll be able to uh, interpret these ideas as much as I can and um, I hope to see what we can come out with from Revit. Okay, before we get into Reddit, I just want to uh, show us the sketches I've made and how I've um, improved on the detailing. So you could see more dimensions added to the stair region, um, well detailed. I've also um, solved the issue of the kind of walls I'll be using in the project. I've sketched the diagrams I used in the schematic phases to be more clearer and more understandable. Now in this phase of design development, before you get into Revit, you can sketch and sketch and sketch during your schematic design to make sure that you get the accurate dimensions um, that you'll be interpreting in Revit. There is no need to take a very incomplete sketch and start fighting yourself in Revit. So you could see my dimensioning of the grids, my dimensioning of what a typical room might look like, and my dimensioning of the topmost floor. Um, so the first and second floor, and possibly a sketch, which I might still work on as the time goes by. So the amount of detailing you do in your sketching will determine the speed of your work in Revit. It's always advisable to sketch as many details as you can. So now let's dive into Revit. The first thing you want to do is to set up your Revit in such a way that your template is always available for you to use. If you don't have a template, don't even start Revit. Make sure you get a template. You can watch my video on how to create some sheets and it will start to uh, fill up your template. Now, come to this Revit icon, uh, click, click the tab beside it, then click on the File button. You see this Options tab, click on it. Under the Options tab, check for File Locations. And under the File Locations, you are going to see Project Templates. These are the basic default project templates that came with Revit. You can select them and this red icon will come up. And if you don't need to use them, you just click this red icon and they will all go away. And then um, if you want to add yours, you click on the green icon select your own template wherever you saved it and then click on open it will attach it you can remove the other ones so you see i just have just my template here so as simple as that the same thing you could do for um where you store your components in revit but i'm going to come back to this later on just to refresh your memory so you click on ok and then you click back on this icon and then you are back to the welcome page so let me just repeat that quickly you click on this icon click on file options and then you click on file locations you use this plus or minus tab to remove and add that's all 
the come back here you click on this to go back to the welcome page so now i'm under models i click on new and you see it's just my templates so that's easy i don't need to search for it ever again now once you open revit with a template there are some basic things your template show up you are just starting revit so you can't have a very perfect template but just some basic things one make sure you have sheet titles your, your panel sheet so you can see i have um a vertically paneled sheet here and a horizontally paneled sheet you can have sheets of different sizes a3 a2 a1 depending on what you need and if you want to know how to create stunning sheets in revit you can also watch my previous video on that and so make sure your templates have sheets the next thing you want to make sure you might want to start sorting out with your template is first go to one elevation and see if there are levels of views created in the in the template if there are you can edit such um, tags of such as level tags and create tags these are the basic starting points to start to edit a template if you if you are creating a template so um, this can be edited and adjusted um, we'll do that later but i'm just giving you tips on what you should have at least in your template then make sure you have these levels and then make sure you have your project browser organized to a certain degree and then make sure you also have um, components some basic components in your, in, your, in your template so you can go to a floor plan check if you have at least some walls some doors and some windows that looks like what you would use so these are the basic things you can add in your template just prior to starting a Revit work maybe open a template and then you check all these things and save as a template or you can actually use an existing Revit project you got from somewhere, delete it, and then use some of these elements to start your work. It's important to always work from a template in Revit. If not, um, uh, it's just going to be difficult. So whoever is teaching you Revit should start ensuring that at the beginning of your Revit tutorial, you should start building up your own template, or at least you have a basic template to um to use if you check my previous video on templates and user interface i'll leave a link up above you would see where i left a link for you to download a basic template that we would use to create um the, the building so we're going to go ahead in the next video to now create walls windows floors and the rest so i'll see you in the next video where we'll just go ahead and then um, start working our way through private. Thank you.